Hi, this is this is Kubin Cal, and uh, I I want you to all of you to look at a video that uh I'll, I'll put in the hyperlink below. Uh, it's with regard to um something an object that they that it, it, the video says is heading this way towards our sun. The the commentator believes it to be a brown dwarf that. That that's that's another son. That he's he's fucking wrong. Man. Uh, I I don't think I believe the whole thing to be a farce, right? Um, the the label they they label it a comet comet element. Um, Nibiru is false. Uh, that was a lie put out by a Freemason. And Freemasons lie all the time, right? Nibiru that that's a lie. Uh, Zachariah Sitchin who allegedly uh, decoded Sumerian and he, ha he does, has no idea what the Sumerian language is or anything like that. He, he, he's full of shit. The, 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 the Nibiru thing is a load of shit and I, I believe that this is a load of shit as well. I mean if it was a brown dwarf with sun, like a, a, like a sun, like our sun, the second one coming our way or breaks all the laws of physics, I believe astronomy, astronomy and that kind of thing, but um That'd be the end of life on Earth. No need to worry about anything because we're all dead. Uh, okay, so this guy, um, he took the dates, obviously, of two events that did occur, uh, uh, earthquakes that occurred. The first one being, uh, chronologically speaking, 27th of February, 2010. And at that date, Chile got hit by an 8.8 .8 magnitude earthquake. So, uh, this was someone at NASA, which is a government agency, which uh, also is going to present to you Project Blue Beam and, and show you like holograms in the sky, claiming that there's some sort of new age god that's occurring, uh, and that's going to be your awakening consciousness. Yay! Uh, yeah, don't trust government. Don't trust NASA. This is a load of shit. Uh, there's nothing headed our way. If I'm wrong, then it's the end of life on Earth, and who cares anyway? But um, I'm gonna. It's very easy how this was done. You take the two dates of something that actually occurred, earthquakes, right? The first one being the 8.8 .8 magnitude Chile Chile earthquake, right, on 27th of February, right? And you take the actual alignment of um of the things in uh, the solar system, the planets and that kind of thing, and you put it on, on the little, like, uh, website, uh, the website being Jet Propulsion Laboratory at NASA. And then you take um, the second date of an earthquake, this one uh, uh, being the date of uh, 4 September 2010, uh, where there was a 7.2 magnitude earthquake that hit Christchurch, New Zealand. Now we do have some sort of actual alignment here on this date. Um, with with regards with regards to looking at at this website, you have to look at it like this. All right, this, these are dots on the screen, right? Um, if this information was false, how was this information falsified? They took the two actual dates of uh, of seismic events here of no, of note, um, and you, you, if you cross out the Nibiru thing, and here you, you just have the Earth and the Sun, and there is no alignment with anything else. You would need three things for there to be an alignment. Um, so we all, because the Nibiru thing is just some false shit that they added in, right? The brown dwarf comet, or whatever you want to call it. So all we have here is like the Earth and the Sun with regards to 27 February. Um, let me give you a close up there. We, Cross out the Nibiru, and all you have is the Earth and the Sun, and there's really no alignment with, with like two objects. We're we're always aligned with the Sun if, if you only have two objects. You you need three objects for an alignment, right? Well, when you cross out the Nibiru uh, and say the Nibiru is false, there is no alignment there with regards to that date that the 8.8 .8 earthquake hit Chile. Um, the second date that the man who is lying gives us is. Um, uh, AU stands for astronomical units. That's all nice and good, but uh, we have an actual alignment because there are four things that he puts in there, right? Uh, cross out the Nibiru here, and now because it doesn't exist, and now we have three objects that are actually aligned. 
the sun, the earth, and the planet Mercury. So that alignment might have caused, is probably one of the reasons for the earthquake. I don't doubt that. Um, uh, but, so this is this, this key date here, and you got to take another one, uh, and, and then you then really with reverse engineering you think about it you just draw in the the elliptical pattern of some false object that they say is approaching the earth and uh he only gives us those two dates and that and that alone and it's very very odd um because how how wonderful it looks on the screen because on february uh i mean on march 11th like approximately a little over two weeks ago there uh, the 9.1 or 8.9 earthquake that hit Japan, there is no like celestial like alignment with this fast approaching farce that doesn't really exist there, and it didn't add up, you know, and and because it, it's it's all a lie, and uh, I mean that would have they would have to put three dates in, uh, and make the trajectory of this thing all crazy, and you know. Uh, it, it wouldn't be feasibly, it wouldn't be believable to um, to the people. But uh, got to look at it from the perspective of the bureau is a lie, right? So how did they make this lie? And I just showed you how. And they do in the trajectory after choosing those two dates of earthquakes. Bye.